Uh, welcome everyone. This is a Northampton Board of Health meeting on June 8th at 6.02 p.m. Is there anyone here for public comment? I don't see anybody. Anybody I else? Don't, I don't see anyone, Joanne. Uh, great, I don't see anyone for public comment. So we'll close the public comment session. Uh, would anyone like to make a motion to open our meeting? Move to open. Second. Thank you, any discussion? All in favor, Cynthia? Yes. Suzanne? Yes. And uh, I'm a yes. Uh, meeting is opened. Uh, this meeting is being recorded. Um, and okay, Alan. Oh, can I just, can we oh, just, yes. put, can we put on the record that this is a special meeting to address an open meeting law complaint that was filed um, May 25th in the evening? Okay. And should I read the complaint out loud just so it's on the record? You may certainly do that. It's not technically necessary. Anybody who wants to read the document can, but if you'd like to read it, uh, particularly for those of us who uh, are on the road and may not. Yeah, it's have short, it in front it's of us. short and sweet. Sure. So, um, so the complainant is Patrick Brohan, and he is from Mass Choice Pioneer Valley. And again, uh, this came on May 25th, 2022. And in under the um, heading of description of alleged violation, he states on May 25th, 2022, the Board of Health of the City of Northampton voted to enact a mask at advisory as part of their meeting. Open meeting law, OML, requires that the list of topics must be sufficiently specific to reasonably inform the public of the issues to be discussed at the meeting. The board failed to do so. None of the agenda topics mentioned mask rules or a possible vote. The board informed during the during comment that their agenda was in compliance with OML. If they took a vote tonight and any such vote would be a risk of being overturned. The board brushed off state law and proceeded. Then under the next field, he writes, what action do you want the public body to take in response to your complaint? And he writes, the mask advisory enacted via this not compliant vote should be dropped immediately and with widespread public announcement. The board must then retake an open meeting law training to ensure future compliance with the law. Director O'Leary has previously stated that she, in quotation marks, violated open meeting law all the time, end quotation marks, during the summer of 2021 during public meeting. The director and the board need to follow state law. For a body supposedly focused on public health, it needs to include the public. That's the end of the narrative he wrote, and he signed it and dated it May 25th, 2022. Thank you, Meredith. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, um, could you bring up the agendas that were um, uh, posted and, and the dates that they were posted, please? Most certainly. So you want me to share my screen? Is that what you're asking? Sure. Alan, does that, does that sound right? Just give me a minute to get it, please. <clears throat> Agenda, there we go. Go back to the Zoom meeting. And now I have to share my screen. screen. All right, can you all see that? I can make it bigger, hold on. Okay, uh, meeting notice uh, amended. So originally on Friday, May 20th at 526 p.m., we posted an agenda um, and I amended it on May 23rd in the morning. Can you make that a little bigger? Okay. Oh, sure, it's huge on my screen. Okay, uh, 150. Can you see it? Yes. 
Okay. Can't see the whole thing, but yeah. Yeah, I'll scroll down. And then um, because I amended the agenda um, early that Monday morning on May 23rd, Can you scroll up? Yep. Um, Kelly reposted um, at 11.14 a.m. on the uh, Northampton Board of Health webpage. And then it got posted at 11.25 a.m. on the city webpage where they post the uh, calendar. All right. And right here on number four, number one under old business, mask advisory and communication plan. Uh, Mer Meredith, can I ask a question? It, it appears that the date of this agenda is May 25th. That's the date of the meeting. That's the date of the meeting. That's not the date of no. the mm -hmm. posting. Okay, I just want yep. to clarify that. And if you go on to the city website, um, to the main page and scroll down, the calendar for meetings and committees and boards is at the bottom. And if you do a little, you know, just kind of like view all and then pull up the agenda, it tells you the exact time and date it was posted. And it also, when we do it internally, there's a checklist that we have to um, check off that we're in compliance with OML and a variety of other things. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So now if we go back to the complaint, one was that we didn't post the item that we were talking about. And the second was that we didn't post, we were gonna have a vote on the item that we were talking about. But it's my understanding, like we didn't know that we were gonna necessarily have a vote. It was discuss it and then we codified it with a vote. We weren't making policy. Um, so I, I'm not sure if we were in violation, but I don't think we were. Um, because that's not ever how we've done our agendas unless we know for certain that we are voting on a policy or regulation. There is no way for us to anticipate oftentimes if we're mm -hmm. going to have a vote. Mm -hmm. Depends on how the discussion goes. Mm -hmm. We often, sometimes we vote, sometimes we carry it over to subsequent meetings. Alan, you're on mute. So if I may jump in here, um, you know, the the uh, open meeting law is uh, pretty clear on what's required. The requirement is that we list the topics that will be discussed. There is no obligation ever to uh, to for forecast what the uh, what the discussion will be about, what the uh, outcome of the discussion uh, will be, what, if any votes will be taken, that's, that's not part of the open meeting law. The open meeting law is, um, requires that you, we list topics. And in my view, this topic was adequately listed in your agenda uh, as, uh, as evidenced by the fact that uh, Mass choice uh, was sufficiently alerted to be there. And as I understand it was there at public comment. So um, the, the complaint is in my opinion, incorrect in that, um, th that it suggests uh, in any way that you needed to uh, post what the outcome of the discussion would be. You just needed to post the, the topic that's the word that's used in the open meeting law, topic. Can I also add, Alan, that we were in compliant, compliant with chapter 30, section 20 of the open meeting law, that you have to post your agenda within 48 hours um, of the meeting, excluding Saturday and Sunday. At um, least 48 hours. At least out, yeah, at least 48 hours. Mm -hmm. And then if, and if there, mm -hmm. right, and if there are changes that the chair could not <laughs> anticipate 40 hour, 48 hours in advance, then to post a, an amended agenda as you've done. Mm -hmm. So um, the process at this point is for uh, the board to take a vote on whether uh, you believe that you violated the open meeting law, and if so, whether any remedial action needs to be taken. I don't think that's the case. Um, and then to within 14 days of the complaint to send a response to the uh, uh, to the complainant 
and to the Attorney General's office, um, send a copy of the complaint and the response to the Attorney General's office. Can I just ask one question, Alan? Mm -hmm. I mean, so any complaint, whether it's just off the cuff or not, right, has to be addressed this way in the future? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Wow. Okay. Any written open meeting law complaint, this is the process. Okay. Board so, um, and you may delegate to me, to Meredith, to uh, the, the board may delegate to me, to Meredith, to, to any staff, um, the task of communicating with the, uh, with the complainant. And if the board would like, I'd be happy to do that. Excuse me, Meredith, you're still screen sharing if you would like to get your emails off. Of oh, sorry. <laughs> I just wanted you to know that. Thank you. Caught multitasking. That's okay. So that's the process. I, I would like one more thing, um, just for the record. The part about um, the accusation of me stating on record that I frequently break open meeting laws um i mean that's just not valid had i ever yeah. broken an open meeting law it would obviously not be um it would be on pur not on purpose it would be by accident but i would never state that may i um just clarify that you're not subject to the open meeting law you can't violate the open meeting law oh well there we you go. are not a member of a board okay <laughs> an individual can never be a governmental body you're not a governmental body you can't violate the open meeting law now everyone else in this meeting uh other than amy i uh can violate the open meeting law so uh i would leave it at that so uh I i'm not even going to address that okay fantastic so do we need to ask for a motion or we just put that put the question as a, a motion, motion. Someone like to make a motion? Um, I make a motion that um, we did not violate the open meeting law as um, stated in the complaint that was filed. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you. Any other discussion or questions? Anything else? Um, before, before we leave the topic, uh, just the, the issue of who is going to respond to the complaint uh, should be addressed also, but we can take them as separate votes or it could be part of all of one, all one motion. I'd like it as one motion. You wanna make an amendment, Suzanne? Um, I'm not sure who to propose. Oh, I can help you with that. Um, Attorney <laughs> Seawald. That, that's, that's, who I, that's who I thought. That's who I thought, but, but I didn't hear a volunteer. So um, um, I, my concern about that is, is, is whether we would have the appropriate language in any response, mm -hmm. especially since it's going to the Attorney General. I would hope that, Alan, you could you could do this. I'd be pleased to, if you would make it part of your motion, I would be pleased Fine. to do it. Okay, then I'd like to amend my motion that the response to this complaint will be um, drafted and well, completed and Later. sent by attorney, uh, by solicitor Sewell. Mm -hmm. um a, a second cynthia do you want to say do you want to second that amendment I'll, I'll second the motion and the amendment as stated any other discussion um oh. chair levin i think amy hutchins had something under the discussion she was going to say what did you unmute for that reason i i did but um you guys covered it with the second uh, the okay. amendment to the motion 
Thank you. Any other discussion? Questions or discussion? Great. Um, all in favor? Cynthia? Roll call. OK. Yeah. Uh, yes. Cynthia? Yes. Suzanne? Yes. Joanne, yes. So it's all in favor uh, of that motion. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Um, I think uh, would uh, I think that closes our uh, meeting. Do we have any other agenda items? No, we don't. We have our next scheduled meeting. Our regular meeting is on um, June twenty third at five thirty p.m. Uh, would someone like to make a motion to close the meeting? I'm going to move over to the Finance Committee of the City Council, so I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you. Thanks so much, Thank Alan. You, Alan. I move to close this meeting of the Board of Health. Thank you. Great. Any other discussion? All in favor? Cynthia? Yes. Suzanne? Yes. Joanne? Yes. Thank you so much.